Horizon Holiday Special. Happy Holidays everyone, Merry Christmas, man has it been crazy lately, but this event ends on Friday, December 29th. Another week-long event started yesterday on the 22nd, which was also Friday obviously, but two cars we can win here, so let's get right into the challenges for the first one. We're going to need to be in an A-class car, which you can sort for in the festival obviously, and go to a circuit race location, any one you want, whichever one you prefer, do exhibition, we're going to blueprint the exhibition, and since we're already in our A-class car, just do anything goes, doesn't really matter, whatever you want to do for this honestly. And go to race settings though, just make sure you have a one lap circuit race set up, which I pretty much always have because I've done this so many times, but for anyone new, you just have to complete the race. You don't need to win, you don't need to come in first place, just to make that very clear, and you can still win that Jaguar XJ220 Horizon Edition, which you can see here. I've had probably three or four of these already, so not a big deal for me personally, but the second challenge, this time around we're going to need to win a race, in a C-Class car, so sort for that once again in the festival, and I use this car right here, a DLC car that I haven't used in a long time, but since we have to win, for anyone who needs the extra help, you can use this perk right here, the pool rank perk, it lets you start in first place, gives you a little advantage, and I'm right back to that same circuit race, which I pretty much have it set up right here, I don't really have to go back and do it again, but just for demonstrational purposes, go back again, you're in your C-Class car already, anything goes, and go to race settings, make sure it's a one lap circuit race, just to make it as quick as possible for you, and then just go out there, you can put the difficulty to new racer if you need to, once again, for anyone who still struggles with racing, is new to the game, whatever the case might be, this time you gotta get first place though, you gotta win, and then you're gonna get that Porsche 911 Turbo S, which I have made a tune for, if you're in that car, search for creator Stevio2175, and you can give that a try, but the next challenge you need a total of 10 either wrecking ball skills or clean start skills using a B-class car. So once again, go to your festival, sort for B-class cars. I'm in my Subi here and you need, I think it's three, probably four honestly, wreckage skills in a row to get the wrecking ball to pop up, but it kind of does take a little bit of time to get that. It's a little bit inconsistent, so... I would recommend doing the clean start skills, I think they're a little bit quicker to get. Use the pool rank perk once again, just to start in first place, and I would use new racer difficulty again as well. And you're in an all-wheel drive car, hopefully that's the best thing to do so you launch really quick. And just don't let anyone touch you, don't side swipe anything, don't smash into anything at all. And if you get the clean start, then you're gonna get the clean start skill to pop up. I think it's like 8 or 10 seconds or so that it takes for that to pop up and then just go and restart the race, right, right, excuse me, right when you see it pop up, you can restart the race, it will count, you don't need to bank the skill, and then you see there, after the 10, complete the 10th race if you just do racing, and then you'll see that pop up, you'll get your reward. Now the final challenge is a little bit weird, you need to create and complete a bucket list challenge that ends, they put it in capital letters, ends in Yara Valley, so use this blueprint point that I just showed you right here next to the Yara Valley Festival. And I recommend using exactly what I did here. Choose set route and make the destination right here because if you don't make it right here, for some reason certain areas, even though they're very close to the Yara Valley Festival, they do not work. I don't know why, I couldn't tell you why, but it can be really strict and picky for some reason with these things sometimes. So try and do exactly what I did here. The first time around when you're setting your time just go a little bit slower, like start a little bit slower, because then that way you can just publish it real quick, and then it's going to ask you, do you want to attempt your bucket list challenge? When you get prompted to do that, absolutely choose yes, go and attempt it, but the second time around, go as fast as possible, and once you do that, you'll create and complete that challenge, and then you're going to get that reward as well, but that pretty much does sum it up, guys. That is it for this Forzathon event for us, long time completionists of this Forzathon series here. I mean, this should be a really quick and easy Forzathon event. But if you're new, it might take a little bit of time. You might need to kind of have these guidelines here. So hopefully everyone found this video to be helpful or useful in one way or another, even if it's just doing as little as making you aware of this Forzathon event. But if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. As always, I'm very willing to help everyone out. But thanks for watching. Happy holidays once again. I really hope everyone has a fantastic 
and relaxing vacation or time off or whatever. Peace.